Obviously, you're the first Albion player to be called up to the England, Adfield Albion player to be called up to the England squad since 1984. What's it mean to you to be called up to, to the squad? It's an honour for me. Um, it's a dream come true, really, for me and my family. It's a proud moment for me, and I just can't wait until I meet up with everyone at the, the camp and get to, to talk to them and just live my dream, really. You're following the footsteps of some great Albion strikes, strikers. There are lots of Ronnie Allen and Derek Kevin and Cyril Regis and Jeff Astor. Um, does that sort of m make it even more important for you to do well because you're representing the club? Of course. Um, the club has, has, has invested a lot of time into my career and it would be great for me to repay them by putting that England shirt on. Your childhood's been well documented, but I need to go into that again now. But does that make it even more emotional for you? And, and what, did, what does it mean to your family and your mom? It means a lot. It just shows, you know, how far I've, as I've come as a player, as a person. You know, ten years ago, if you asked me about, if you asked me about being a footballer, playing a Premier League, I would have dreamt it. And for it to happen this way, and, and for it to happen so quickly, it's amazing how someone's life can turn around. And I can just say to anyone out there that has a, a dream, don't ever give up on it because I never did. And now I'm here, I'm in a great position and I'm looking forward to the future. There's a lot being made recently in sport about people who are born in one country and then representing another. As somebody who's came here as a refugee at, at such a young age, what does it mean to you to be representing England? It means a lot to me. It means a lot to me, my mum, my family. Um, England, like I said before, many of times they gave me a second chance they've given i'm in a good position now because of this country now I'm, I'm i'm able to provide for my family i'm able to go and do things i could never dream of doing when i was a kid um i've grew up in england obviously i'm very very comfortable with the culture and almost feel like the rest of the people in here so i'm just blessed and, and thankful for this opportunity. You know, in a strange way as well, do you feel like you are putting Burundi on the map and representing your country and, and, Af and Africa as a whole? Of course, I think no one would have known where Burundi was until now. Obviously, I've been around the news and stuff. I think and now a lot of people are is aware of how uh, where I come from and my country. So Burundi is a small place, obviously, in Central Africa, one of the poorest in the country, and hopefully now people are, are aware of it and they understand my story better.